All right, so let's see if we're straight. Good, we're straight. So yeah, welcome to my vlog, and uh, my name is Osei Kwame. This is It's Okay, and on It's Okay, um, I document my journey of self-development and becoming a freelance filmmaker and photographer. But today on the vlog, I'm going to show you exactly how I set up for a usual YouTube video. And my wife is helping me film. She's on the camera today, and we're using the iPhone 10 and uh, Movi Gimbal. So steady shots are important in displaying exactly what I use, all the gadgets and everything. So I'm going to go through the gadgets I use, and then I'm going to show you exactly how I set up and how it comes together to become one video all the time. So starting with the gadgets, um, I use the Sigma 18 to 35 lens because it's a wide angle. It's wide enough for me to have a wider view. So that's the Sigma 18 to 35 part lens. That's my main lens for recording vlogs. Sometimes I use a 50 millimeter if I want to get a certain look, but mostly the Sigma 18 to 35. The camera I use is the Canon 80D. It doesn't even shoot 4K, it's 1080 and it's fine for me. So I'm good with the Canon 80D. Um, with sound, this is the interface I use, the Zoom H4n. This is the interface I connect with my other sound devices to boom above my head. So, um, and with um, monitoring how I look with framing and everything, I use the Few World 5-inch monitor. Yeah, it's an on-camera monitor, that's what I use. And with uh, microphone, I use the Deity V-Mic D3 Pro. Day TV, my D3 Pro, that's what I use. And I bought the location kit so that I can mount with boom sticks or not boom sticks, boom poles and maybe mic stands. So it comes with a Rykut shock mount. Rykut shock mount. So these are the first main thing. There's an HDMI cord for the monitor, HDMI. And then there's a very long XLR cable for connecting. The H4 to the Deity onto the right coat to boom, right? So these are the first initial gadgets that I use. You should follow me. I'm going to show you the other ones that I use to record. Um, so I have my tripod here. My tripod, very basic. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> very basic zome tripod <laughs> tripod and um, for lights I use the Godox the Godox SL60W it's very affordable and I like the light as well um, for making the light soft because the light is very harsh for making the light soft um, you see this light I'm using right now is also a little bit harsh but I needed light here to be able to see exactly what I'm doing. Um, I use the Godox Deep Parabolic um, Softbox. It's the 120H, so it's quite big. That's 120 centimeters, it's big and it's difficult to fix. It's my least favorite part of my setup because it's so difficult to fix if you're alone. So I don't like it at all, but you need soft light, so. Um, and a regular light stand, yeah. It's also very affordable and easy to find. This is the cable that comes with the lights. It's quite long and it doesn't use a battery. So you have to plug it on the wall to be able to use. If light goes off whilst you're recording, you're in trouble. And the thing that fell and made a noise is my mic stand. So these are the main hardware that I use to record my video. Now, he, this here is my famous brick wall slash library, which I, before I started a YouTube video, I decided to build up to use as my background and record from here all the time. But I'm sure by now you know that I recorded only two episodes of my vlog using this. So it was an impulse build and I barely use it for my videos. I mean, it's housing the books and other things, it's fine, but I barely use it for my videos. Mostly because um, I think the trick is not to record too close to a wall. 
if you want to have a shallower depth of field whereby your background is blur, don't record too close to a wall. And I think the lens that I have, the 18-35, wasn't wide enough to get me a blurred enough background. So I wasn't really a fan of it after two episodes. So yeah, I do um, actually set up station by station. And what I mean is that I set up the element of light as a station. And I set up the element of sound as a station and the element of like visual as the camera as another station. So that's how I do set up all the time. So I'm gonna take them one by one and show you how I arrange all to come together as one piece in a bit. So it's good and um, the plant is also there as usual and then I sit and talk to the camera. It's difficult to actually look into the lens and talk to the camera so it will take time for you to get used to it. Always, always make sure your microphone is close enough to you and right in front of you. Also out of frame so if you look behind the monitor and the microphone is showing in the frame it's bad. Unless that's your style and you want the microphone to show, 
you don't want the usual, I mean, you usually don't want the microphone to show. So this is a basic, or this is my regular setup. It's not very basic for beginners. So there will be alternatives which you can research on. There's another way to use the microphone whereby you put it on top of the camera and with a wide angle camera, you'll be able to bring it closer to you so that the microphone or the sound sounds, or the sound is good. Yes. So this is one way to record or vlog. And this is how I do mine usually. It takes a while to set up. It takes a while to get used to. But once you do it quite often, it becomes easy. So this is a usual vlogging day in a life of it's okay. And if you found anything useful, if you have any questions, kindly let me know in the link below. And I'll answer your questions as and when I receive them. So it's been a good vlogging day. Thank you for coming to It's Okay. And um, I look forward to interacting with you on the vlog. My wife has done an amazing job being my DP for today. And uh, I'm really, really, <laughs> really grateful for that. So yeah, this is it. This is my setup. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. There's more coming your way. I will try as much as possible to do videos like this, explaining how things work if you want to YouTube. And you can follow me on my journey by subscribing and commenting. And catch you again next week. Peace! <laughs> You're mean. I know it's not off.